Hello, and welcome to Gray Steel. I'm Jonathan Sullivan. I'm an emergency physician, a physiologist, and a starting strength coach. I practice and teach emergency medicine at a level one trauma center in Detroit, Michigan. My coaching practice, Gray Steel Strength and Conditioning, is located in Farmington, Michigan, and specializes in fitness for people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond. This is a weird career mix. On the one hand, in my emergency practice, I see the very worst horrors that time, neglect, abuse, and trauma can inflict on the human body. In emergency medicine, we see disease in all stages of development, but particularly in full blossom, when things have progressed to the point where tissues, organs, limbs, and even lives are at risk, or already beyond recovery. It gets ugly. Bad diet and lack of exercise have become obesity and metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome has become diabetes and high blood pressure and vascular disease. Diabetes has become diabetic ketoacidosis or foot gangrene. Hypertension has become heart failure. Vascular disease has become a heart attack. Foot gangrene has progressed to septic shock. Heart failure has become cardiogenic shock. In emergency medicine, we work when we can on education and prevention but that's not the focus of our specialty. The emergency department is not about making people healthier as much as it is putting out the fires, or sometimes, I hate to say, making beds in a burning house. On the other hand, at Graysteel, it's all about making people healthier by making them stronger, faster, fitter, more resilient, and just more alive. Helping people live better, eat better, and move better is strong medicine. And it's a far more powerful and cost-effective medicine than this. Now, I have great pride and passion for both kinds of medicine. Emergency medicine can be a parade of terrors, and it can take a lot out of you. In the middle of my sixth decade, I have begun to feel the burn. But it is exciting, technically challenging, heroic, intellectually stimulating, and there's nothing like saving a leg or an eye or a life. Nothing else like it. We're going to talk a bit about some of this stuff, but on the Graysteel channel, we're going to focus on the other kind of medicine I love, the medicine of staying healthy and fit as we grow older. We're going to talk about why it sucks to grow old and why it rocks to grow old, and just exactly how we grow old. We're going to talk about how getting old is not what it used to be, how in the 21st century, we're plagued by an entirely different slate of diseases than in centuries past, and blessed by unprecedented opportunities to grow old with vigor and health. We'll talk about some of the most common afflictions of aging, how they happen, how they're treated and managed, and how to prevent them. We'll talk about dysfunctional aging, how it happens and how it can be prevented. And we're going to spend a lot of time talking about how lifestyle factors, particularly exercise, can help us grow older with fewer visits to the emergency department. In the emergency department, we really don't need your business. We got plenty. This is not about some secret youth formula or immortality or one weird trick to get rid of wrinkles or thinning hair or gout. Getting old is very, very real. No medicine, no diet, no exercise, no lifestyle intervention has ever been shown to prolong the human lifespan in populations. In the end, time catches up with all of us. But we can extend the healthy part of our lives into middle and old age, and we can shorten our dying into a thinner sliver of our life cycle, what's been called compression of morbidity. The maximum human lifespan is relatively fixed, but if we're careful, diligent, and a little lucky, we can have a longer health span. It is possible to slow, arrest, or even reverse many of the effects of aging. It's not easy, it's not magic, and it's something that ultimately depends on you. It requires work, diligence, and above all, good information. I'm making the Graysteel channel to be part of your toolbox for healthy aging. We'll get started in the next episode on the pros and cons of accumulating birthdays. I hope you'll subscribe and come along for the ride. 
Thanks for watching this first episode of Grey Steel. Our content is for educational and entertainment purposes only and will never be offered as medical advice for any particular person, patient, disease, or condition. When it comes to your health, you should work closely with your physician. You can always find out more cool stuff on our website at www.graysteel.org. Make sure you check out the doobly-doo for some interesting links and resources, and don't forget to like us and subscribe.